miss my dermatology appointments. I feel like I don't even need to explain that. Because I feel a little bad. You know, I can usually read any story and be like, oh, that's messed up. Or I feel bad for that guy. The 66-year-old Canadian man who was killed by his tiger? I, I just can't feel bad. Because that man knowingly bought a 660-pound killing machine. That's like buying a gun that has feelings. You tend to it, feed it. But essentially, the only thing a gun's supposed to do is kill people. And I realize people do this all the time. They take Try to change it into what they want it to be. The easiest examples of this are your girlfriend, people who vote for president, and my girlfriend. Another good relevant example would be Jay Leno. Jay Leno moved to the 10 o'clock spot. He wasn't the most talented person in the world. Everything pointed to the fact that this show would be a failure. And that's not even taking into account the terrible jokes. But they did it anyway. Maybe just to see what it was like. Maybe just to spite you. Like when your daughter ran off of that Jamaican boy. Because NBC got mauled by the tiger. We're having to cancel the Jay Leno show. Move Jay Leno back to his old spot. Forcing Conan O'Brien to either go through Fox. Or stick with NBC at a worse time slot and worse pace. When something is, don't try and change it into what you want it to be. Unless you want to be mauled by the tiger. Or just be a very depressed person. I've found in life that it's all about embracing what you are. For example, I've come to terms with the fact that I'm a douchebag that's really only good at talking 5 to 20 words at a time. So I've embraced it. And it's worked pretty well so far. And with this mindset, the marketers behind Youth and Revolt, a movie with Michael Cera, who they realize that homeless people are essentially just walking billboards, depressing billboards, that say things like, I might have hepatitis, don't get close to me, I fought in the war, and my country doesn't care about me. You know, they even, I might have hepatitis, don't get close to me, I fought in the war, and my country doesn't care about me. You know, they usually, and they embrace the fact that homeless people are billboards by actually putting billboards on them for youth and revolt. Now granted, the movie didn't have the best opening weekend, but, well, there's a point there somewhere. You just have to squint. Hey guys, your money question today, and I actually want to know this. Paying a homeless man $100 to be a billboard.